morning, friends. It is super hot here again in Southern Ohio. It's gonna be well over the hundreds with the heat index. I know a lot of you are going through the same thing, if not worse. And let me tell you what, when I get home from work, it is so hot in my kitchen uh, around the pizza oven. Last night, I could not wait to get home and get a cold shower when I got off work last night. So it's gonna be same thing today. So I know when I come home this afternoon, I'm not gonna to wanna to spend a lot of time cooking. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my trusty slow cooker. I'm gonna make some green beans. Now I love this brand of Glory Seasoned Green Beans. Sorry, the AC just kicked on again. There's nothing I can do about that, so it's gonna be a little loud. So I'm just gonna put these in my slow cooker. All these actually have potatoes in them. The last can I got didn't have any potatoes. So it is the, um, Glory Seasoned Southern Style Green Beans with Taste. I love those. I love their greens also. So here they are. There's a few potatoes in there. There's enough. I'm not worried about the potatoes because I just want the green beans today. I'm going to add another can of just sliced green beans. Maybe. I don't know if I got that lid open. There we go. Another can of sliced green beans. Make me a big old pot here. There we go. Now I'm not gonna add too much because the seasoned green beans, of course, are seasoned. The other can was not. So, right now I'm just gonna do some salt. Some peba. Look at me getting my stretches in this morning. And I'm gonna add a little bit of bacon grease. I'm not going to add any butter yet. I'm going to do that towards the end when I get ready to serve it. I always add butter at the end because I don't like it. To me, I, I think it, it cooks away. It might be just in my mind that that butter cooks away. But, about that much bathing grease. That's all I'm going to do to it right now. It is... 9.30 a.m. We leave for work a little bit after 10 to open up for lunch shift. So I'm going to put it on high, which this is 5. And then when I leave, I'll turn it down to about a 3. Because they're cooked. You just want everything to hang out. That bacon grease mingle with all the green bean friends. All right. Also, let me get this back here. Let me get it turned on. There you go. That's gonna cook while it works. That's gonna emit a lot of heat. Now, I bought some corn on the cob yesterday, last night when I went to the store. This is brought in uh, locally. I'm not sure who grows it, but it sells out super fast at our little grocery store and it's so good. And I got the last 10 ears last night when they, before they were getting ready to close. So I'm sure they'll restock it today. I'm gonna cook this. I shucked it this morning. I was thinking, man, I wish I had a dollar for every time I shook the ear of corn. Ooh, we I would be somewhere along the ocean right now. Relaxing. Anyway, shuck the corn. I'm gonna put this in the instant pot when we get home. It's gonna take like seven minutes. Once again, I'm not gonna have to heat up the house, cook in the corn. Not sure what else I'm gonna have with it. It may just be green beans and corn kind of day. Cottage cheese, I don't know yet. All right, I'm gonna go for now and I'll see you this afternoon when I get home from work. So we're home from work this afternoon for our lunch. So our green beans are in the slow cooker. Now I'm gonna do the corn in my pressure cooker in my instant pot. So we've got the trivet in the bottom. And I've got four ears going this way. And now I'm gonna do four ears in the opposite way. All right, let me put some more in there. There we go. So there we go, we've got eight ears of corn. One and a half cups of water. Go. So we've got it stacked opposite directions. I'm gonna put it on. Always make sure your lid is on seal. Turn it and I'm gonna pressure cook it for seven minutes. And when the time's up, we will do a rapid release. I'll be right back. 
thought I'd share with you what else we're having for lunch. We're having some cubed venison. Now, we filled out some venison yesterday for Mason's birthday dinner and brought the thawed out too much. So, we're gonna have this cubed venison today. And all you have to do is season your flour. You can use beef or cubed pork if you don't have venison. So, season your flour with some onion powder, some Creole seasoning, black pepper, salt, garlic powder, and some, a little bit of paprika. Get you a hot skillet, just flour it, and drop it right in. The thing with venison is you do not want to overcook it. It's like a good, good piece of beef. You want a good sear on it, but you don't want to overcook it so it doesn't get tough. Okay. Just got a little bit of oil in the pan. There we go. I'll leave it three or four minutes on one side and give it a flip. And um, I'll be back to show you our dinner. Time's up on the cord. Let's do a quick release. I'll be right back. Here it is, that perfectly cooked corn, seven minutes in the Instant Pot. Didn't have to worry about it. Heat up the house. And mom always put it in the drainer to cool, and that's what I'm doing. So here's what we're having for lunch today. We've got our cubed venison. Do you see that? The slow cooker green beans I put on before work. And of course our corn on the cob. I got some sliced tomatoes and some cottage cheese. Ooh wee, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day and I'll see you later.